Frankly, Fran, Frankly, Frankly, Fran, Frankly, Fran, Frankly, Frankly, Fran. Hi everyone, it is Fran here and we're just going to keep it frank. Let's stop waffling around. Firstly, welcome everyone and I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. I hope everyone is well and yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so when we go down south, coming back home, uh, we have a couple of things to talk about. First of all, first things first, I eat your brain. <laughs> okay. The mess that is going on with Ubebe Bonang Mateba. I guys know. As in Ubi. It's a mess. Like up in the Twitters. I mean, I know it's been a couple of days, but it doesn't seem like I mean anyone who's dealt with court cases knows Usik Shubaganjan. So when I just think of what she could be going through right now emotionally, it's too much. It's too much. And I do wish a baby girl well. I mean, uh, it's not always fun and dandy, Archer. It's not always like, it just shows you, we see sometimes we see and then not knowing what the truth of the matter is and what's happening in people's lives. So for those that don't know as to what's happening, Ubonang is actually currently just dealing with a lot in terms of an agency that she was working for previously, CSA, um, celebrities, uh, I don't know what, uh, Africa, but anyway, yeah, she was just talking about all of that and um, how that's all turned out, um, uh, the whole champagne situation. We could see the agency signed a deal with the champagne or the vineyard um, producers, and in yeah, it's Kubi. <clears throat> so, hi. She's been warning people about the red flags when signing contracts, which I always say, like, if fine print is where it's at. So, there's a lot of contracts. Even if you're signing for a job, there's a lot of things that go on behind closed doors in terms of what was typed in those fine prints and those things can be dangerous so as Bonang has told you guys please be wary when getting into these agreements um so so on her instagram she warned creatives about allowing their agency too much uh, control over their lives and who they hire and who they fire it reads remember that an agency enables you and your business and represents your interests they do not own you Bonang carries on to say you do not work for them and um yeah so you must just look out for their uh, attitudes and their posture and their intentions and their whole attitude of superiority yeah so long so just watch out for those things um yeah man or we can say as SA, even if you don't like her and, you know, all that negative stuff, I just say let's pray for her, let's pray for our good sis. And me, coming from me, my suggestion to you, baby, would be to actually start a YouTube channel. Go back to your bedazzled days. And uh, if you do use this information, I want my 20%. <laughs> But go back to your bedazzled days. South Africans and Africans in general are really interested in knowing who Bonang is in a deeper sense and not on a produced by somebody else level. Just be real. Just be you. Just be chaotic if you are. Ubenje is if you are. Be yourself. But most importantly, be amazing. Bitch, it's in our, we are real. We are SA. We love Zodwa. We are not as conservative as people think. But at the same time, it's about being real and true to you. So I would say go out there, create your YouTube channel, go into um, other ventures, maybe create your own brand of alcohol. Be dazzled by Bonang. So yeah, let's go for it, girl. Go get that money. Shh, money. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.